The second all-time leading scorer in New Haven history, Herb Watkins played among some of the best in program history and is now the fourth player among his four-year career to be inducted into the Hall of Fame, joining Gary Battle, Ken Coleman, and Bill Jeffress. A two-time All-American, including the first-ever first-team honoree, Watkins closed out his career with 1,998 points and is also second in program history with field goals made, 846, blocks 191, and steals 217. Additionally, he ranks among the top 10 in school history in field goal percentage at 536 and rebounds 832. Watkins was a proven outside shooter before the three-point line was introduced in the game. According to his coach, Stu Grove, Herb had a devastating 20-foot shot. The Passaic, New Jersey native came highly touted out of the Passaic County Tech where he averaged more than 25 points in eight rebounds while earning countless honors. Among the high school accolades for Watkins was first team all county, first team all league, and first team all area. Watkins made a splash the minute he stepped on the hardwood, finishing his rookie campaign fourth on the team, averaging 8.1 points and third in rebounding, hauling in 4.2 per game as a freshman. His biggest highlight from his rookie campaign came in a rivalry battle against Quinnipiac, where he hit for 18 points in a home victory. Just one year later, Watkins nearly doubled his output, leading the team in scoring at 15.8 points per game and rebounding at 8.1, as he helped lead the Chargers to a 10-2 record in the NECC and a second straight appearance in the conference semifinals. Superb Herb, as he became known following a sophomore campaign, Watkins was the team's top rebounder in 11 games and was the top scorer nine times. In addition to leading the team in point production, he was also the Chargers' leading shot blocker with 48. The 1986-87 season was the first of back-to-back -back years where Watkins led the Chargers to the NCAA Division II Championship, again finishing as the leading scorer, upping his output to 20.5 points while pulling down 7.9 rebounds. During his junior campaign, Watkins became the 16th member of the 1,000-point club, doing so in a home win over American International on January 10, 1987. He quickly ascended that all-time scoring list, closing out his junior season among the top 10. Watkins also increased his defensive performance as a junior, finishing with a career high and team leading 73 blocks, which remains second most in a single season in program history, while picking off 63 seals, second most on the team. Overall, he led the team in scoring 18 times and rebounding 14 times while scoring a season high 33 points against Philadelphia Textile. He capped off his junior season with a plethora of accolades highlighted by his first of two National Association of Basketball Coaches All-America honors. Additionally, Watkins was named First Team All-City, First Team All-NECC, First Team All-New England, First Team All-East Region, First Team ECAC North, and was named to the first team following the program's first ever NCAA regional appearance. His senior season was one for the record books as he helped lead the Chargers to a 26-5 record, the most wins in over 20 seasons, and a national ranking as high as sixth in the NCAA Division II. That same season, the Blue and Gold qualified for the NCAA Division II Championship for the second straight year, while closing out the regular season with an 11-1 record in the NECC. Watkins, who led the team in scoring for the third straight season at 22.7 points per game, became the program's first ever first team All-American when he was honored with All-American status for the second straight season by the NABC. Additionally, he was named the New England Player of the Year as he added an average of 8.8 .8 rebounds and hauled in a team-best 78 steals and blocked 66 shots to his team-leading scoring average. Herb Watkins, Men's Basketball, 1984 to 1988, University of New Haven Athletics Hall of Fame Class of 2019.